When you are looking at many of the agendas that have been happening throughout the entire world, especially with what you have collectively gone through throughout the past near two and a half years of time, there is always that next concern. There's always that next conflict. There's always that next worry. Well, what if something even bigger happens like what happened with this entire COVID agenda? Maybe there's something even bigger that is supposed to happen. Maybe there's something even more detrimental that is supposed to take place. Maybe there is something of a world order that is looking to happen. But what many fail to realize is that when you experience large scale events like this that have been administered throughout mainstream media, that has been administered through artificial systems throughout the entire planet, where every country has been locked down, has gone through quarantine, it's gone through restrictions, vaccination agendas, and so forth, that when you know that such a thing is false, that it is staged, that it is part of a narrative, that it is corrupt, it's not something that's going to repeat again. Because again, many underestimate the power that the collective truly possesses. You possess a great power. And that power is the idea of, I may be, have been fooled once, but I will not be fooled a second time. It's the power of discernment. It's the power of investigation. It's the power of diving deep and seeing these things for what they truly are. For in fact, when you ask the majority of people on the earth, if they believe that the entire agenda, the CV-19, was actually legit, many would say, no, not even close. This is nothing but a scam. This is nothing but a scheme. This is nothing but a big farce. It has no merit in science whatsoever. There is no scientific back backing at all for the scientific basis that this was involved in. This has nothing but greed and selfishness and corruption and harm written all over it. So as the majority of people on the planet would most likely agree with that, do you honestly think something like this could repeat itself another time? No. You also have to understand how things are changing. This is exactly why there are signposts that are giving you these clues, these hints, these tidbits of information of saying your world is not going to be fooled a second time with something of this scale. It can't. Because the people that once administered those particular forms of agendas, such as CV-19, aren't even in charge anymore. They're not even around anymore. The idea of those agendas and the people behind them have moved out of the limelight. They have now processed themselves into where they are actually in prison, on trial, or have left this earth. So you cannot be fooled a second time. But when you look at these scarcity events, when you see the intensity to which they represent, it's only telling you, brother, sister, humanity, it's time to awaken. It's time to move yourselves into a greater stance. It's time to unite yourselves and come together because together you're the problem solvers. Together you are the remedy. Together you are the cure. 
Together, you are the transformation necessary to moving yourselves into a greater time to come. A new world. That's precisely what's happened. The idea of thinking that this is going to leave the course of history completely unfazed or untouched by mankind is a foolhardy idea. This has been scrutinized. This has been discerned. This has been dove into deeply by so many. Not just by doctors or lawyers or scientists or experts through alternative media or anything of that nature. It's been looked at by people. And it's not something that is going to repeat itself. Therefore, when you see scarcity events, the signpost that is telling you that this scarcity event is happening is only trying to share with you it's just a time to wake yourselves up, to realize what's been happening beneath your feet, to get much more of a clear bell ringing so that you realize that everything that you have been going through pertaining to these agendas are nothing but these trigger points to awaken many more people to the corruption and the greed and all of the other false agendas that are happening all around you. That's the only reason. Once you awaken from this, these agendas won't happen anymore. They'll be completely, as you would say, history. They would be things of the past, things that you have learned to overcome because you're cooperating together. That's why these events happen. When humanity becomes too separate, when you're constantly dividing yourselves, there's going to be an event that will be triggered to try and bring yourselves back together. That's how it works. It's exactly what happened with your 9-11. An event that was working to bring people together to investigate, to explore this. Now looking at your CV-19, people coming together to look at this, to explore this, to unify. It's the only reason why these events happen. When you are already in a state of unity, events like that will not show their face. This is how you move past them. When you cooperate, when you work together and humanity is working together, you are cooperating. You may say, oh, well, not my family. My family is this, that, and the other thing. But when you look at the majority of the planet, the majority of the people on the earth, they are most definitely cooperating. It is all part that when tragedy like this happens, this is what leads into the birth of unity. It is unification that's taking place. It's the only reason of these scarcity events. None of them really are genuine. Hardly any of scarcity events that you have experienced within the past century were actually legitimate. Very few. Many of them are engineered. They are put together because they have an agenda behind them to try to fulfill some type of financial or political gain, controlling gain in any means much in regards to your history, particularly within the past century, has not been legitimate in any way. It has not been genuine in any way. It's been engineered. They are ploys, nothing more. Your own world wars were ploys. They were not real. They did not have that idea of a genuine quality to them. It was all about power. It was all about corruption. It was all about greed. It was all about conquering. It was all about the idea of retaliation and fighting against the idea of anything that would represent a significant movement towards humanity evolving themselves. It all came down to money. It all came down to territory. It all came down to greed. It all came down to resources. It all came down to banking. It all came down to enslavement. All of these are engineered. Nothing from what your people have experienced within the near approximate past century has been genuine at all. 
relating to scarcity tactics, relating to scarcity events. They have all been administered. They have all been engineered. They have all been ploys because humanity was still continuing to divide itself. And these enormous events would come together to try to unify people to work together, to be a collective people, to be here on the earth and take care of the earth and take care of yourselves and take care of each other. That's why these events happen. Well, is it true that other events like this might happen? Not like CV-19, no. But other things that may be, again, about breaking new ground and coming into a horizon, a new horizon of growth, yes. But not something like this. Not something that represents a virus. Not something that represents the idea of lockdown or restrictions in the exact way that you have had it. But yes, there will be other situations that will come. This is why it is being said that all scarcity events are a signpost. They're an event that is trying to bring people together. But you will notice that the intensity of this event, as how it needed to unfold itself, will not happen again. But there will be other events that will trigger you, that are trying to give you a message, that are trying to get all of you to work together, to come together under a common cause, not to segregate each other, not to defile one another, not to belittle or ridicule or judge, become harsh with each other, because that is only going to lead you into more events that are going to trigger themselves to happen. That again represents a lot of scarcity, but this again is how your collective currently operates. Through scarcity, through tragedy, comes unity. That's why you can move past these scarcity events when you understand what they're trying to say. Work together. Work together as a united people. Look deeper into these things and realize that much of these scarcity tactics, these scarcity events, are administrated through engineering. They are artificially produced. And once you realize that, you will now know how to take life into your own hands. You will know how to work together. Because when humanity works together, you are extremely powerful. The power of that discernment, as previously stated. That power of digging deep. That power of being able to scrutinize and investigate and realize, no, this doesn't feel real. And I see why this is happening, because it's trying to bring people together again. That's the entire point. That's why these manifest. So no, as far as another CV-19 event goes, no, it's already passed its course. It's already still coming into the tail end, and it still needs to play itself out a little bit more, but it's already taken its course. Yes, there could be other scarcity events ahead, but nothing like what you have experienced for the past two and a half years. And it's only there to guide you, to bring you into formation, to work together as a united people. And when you do that, that is how you overcome events of scarcity. Thank you very much for checking out the New Earth Teachings YouTube channel. Feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And you can check out the websites, newearthteachings.com, where you can order a private session, three questions by email, EQ method, and a lot more. And you can also check out healingcodecards.com, where you can grab your mind deck, your body deck, and of course the brand new body deck special edition. All of these are available in digital editions as well. And you can also get a shirt just like this through HealingCodeShop.com where you can experience the healing codes in apparel form. So feel free to check out these websites. Thank you so much and I'll speak to you again in the next video. Be well.